All right, I'm back. And uh, again, Christmas Day, 2008. I got the Cub 100 over here. You can kind of sort of see the 100, but whatever. I finally got it going again. It hadn't been down for long. I use it a lot. It's just uh, I got a trail right over there behind that those truck shells and that camper that goes around into the neighborhood behind mine and I was going to hang out with a friend of mine and I was coming back and I got just a little bit behind that brush pile and uh, it just quit so I was like okay whatever but come to find out hold on battery terminal had broken off but this is my little quick fix attempt I mean it's holding up pretty well in my opinion I mean shit it works you know starts it up and shuts it down or it did Wow, this is great. Yeah, of course, right as I go to take a video of it, it doesn't want to work. But oh well, I got it out of the middle of the yard, which is where I somehow managed to drive it up to. And yeah, 10 horse Kohler K3, or excuse me, K241. And, uh, it's got a K301 head on it. And fairly new clutch. I just put a clutch in there not long ago at all. So yeah, pretty much good to go. I got to fix the battery terminals on this Alice 710. I don't know why, but I'm having a lot of problems with uh, battery terminals and shit breaking off, you know. 520 yes I don't know how could I how I could have almost forgotten this it had been having electrical problems for like six months Toro wheel horse 520 hydro 20 horse Onan twin hydrostatic drive and lift sweet plus it's got the monster deck see I can't even fit the whole thing in one shot Oh, there we go. Yeah. So we also got a blade for it. No, oh, you can't see it. Oh. <laughs> Twenty dollar cement mixer. Yeah. There's a blade for it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's the one for that. And then I have a uh, short frame wheel horse blade for like uh. 654s and uh, the old school small frame styles. That's my rancher all in pieces. Damn it, Jason. The screamer. Um, she ain't doing so good. I had to take the carburetor off to uh finish up a deal I had going with a friend of mine and uh, actually it doesn't look bad in there I figured it'd be coated but with rust and stuff by now the exhaust port doesn't look bad either well it is aluminum block and everything too so there's no telling but oh well I'll figure something out I'm give me a carb hooked up to it and stuff Carburetor and exhaust. 
I might have an engine pulley for it, which I don't really feel like digging out leaves to just to show you there's an, an engine shaft with no pulley on it. Oh, I found this. Alright, I'm back. I finally found my transmission pulley. And uh, I just sat my cell phone next to it for size comparison compared to the old style pulleys that are like from that center point out to like there. Yeah. Set screw. It's keyed slot. It's going to be sick. And uh, it's actually the same pulley. Well, not the exact same pulley, but the same slot. Uh, size and style pulley that uh, my buddy Mark or uh, Don Vito 999 use uh, he used on his Ford before the transmission so happily gave out on him which I've got over here I got it all I got all the internals cleaned up I just got to get a couple parts for it and they'll be back to um, back in action Yep. Oh, I also got my hose reel mounted. Built a frame for it to hang up in the shop. So, yeah. I don't have it quite plumbed in yet. And it's a hose hanging down. I don't even know where the hell it's going. So, well. But, uh, that's basically an update on everything. Oh, wait, one more. My truck. You may or may not have noticed or been able to notice that I have not had a back window in my truck for over two years. Until last Saturday night. I want to thank my buddy David. He's my neighbor's boyfriend. He came over and gave me a hand at like 9 o'clock at night. All we had was one utility light beaming down on it, but we finally got it in watertight seal. Thanks, David. And, uh, I think that's about it. Simplicity tank. The gas tank split, so. Oh, well. And, uh, take care. Merry Christmas, YouTube. Later.